Hey guys, Machines and Mal here. I just wanted to show you real quick how I backlot my True Cut Reel Mower. Uh, it's a pretty straightforward setup. What you do is you get yourself a big drill like this and um, make a base bracket for it so that it'll stand next to your, your mower. This one's adjustable so I can, I can turn this and it'll actually move up and down the drill and uh, set itself to different heights for my different reel mower sharpenings. And uh, what you do on the true cut particularly, I think cow trimmer works the same way, is you loosen off one, one two, and the third bolt there to, to release this ring. And then on the other side, you got the same thing. Uh, one, two, and actually the third one on this one's missing because it broke off. But um, you loosen off those, those three bolts. And then that circular piece there, you see that hole right there and that hole right there. You've got the same two holes over on this side. We'll use this this handy dandy punch to show you where they are. Right there, and you've actually got another one right there. And what you do is you take your your punch and your hammer, and you want to tap the uh, you want to tap these discs so that they roll the reel forward. So the the one on the left side you want to tap counterclockwise, and the one on the right side you want to tap clockwise and basically you roll these circular pieces you roll them forward a degree half a degree if that and what it does is it actually brings this reel down into the bed knife and then you snug those nuts up on bolts up and then you apply some of your lapping compound here we've got 80 grit right there i like to use 80 grit lapping compound on the gas power reel mowers and i like to use 120 uh, grit on the push reel mowers because the blades are lighter and they sharpen a little bit nicer with 120. So basically you spin this reel backwards and you apply the lapping compound with like a paintbrush or something. Uh, I'll just show you real quick how this works and you can give it a shot at home. So you turn this drill on. So basically you do that until it runs and spins and sounds smooth and even. Sometimes you'll have to re-tap those cams uh, two or three times to get this thing cleaned up. It depends on, on how badly rusted and, and messed up it is. But this one I can feel, I've been doing this one for about seven minutes like that. And I can feel that there's a, there's a nice little burr starting, which means we've, we've rubbed off all the, the doll. And uh, we're going to have this baby cut in newspaper in no time. So basically, backlap it, backlap it, backlap it, and uh, when you're done, tighten down the end bolts on each side. Do your paper cut test with some newspaper, and you'll find this thing will cut just like the day you brought it home from the lawnmower store. True cut sharpening video. That's a real quick one, guys. I'll probably do an in-depth one of how to do the chain removal and actually show the top setup of the cams down the row. But for now, it's something to get you backlapping just in case you want to do this before the season really gets growing. Thanks for watching.